Let's see what the fuck going on. I don't think I'm ever going to get to this porch story. Maybe it's just not meant for me to talk about the goddamn porch story. They really don't want me to talk about this. All right. So I was sitting on my porch and the bumblebee flew by me. It was doing this little bee thing, flying all in my face and all that, right? So my eyes went cockeyed a little bit because the bee, you know, when you trying to watch something so small fly around, your eyes got to go cockeyed. My shit was doing a cockeyed thing. Oh, right. So I found myself being cockeyed, trying to follow the bee. Before you know it, I followed the bee downstairs. Oh, where the bee going? Oh, my, let me follow this bee, see what he's up to. Right? Before you know it, I didn't follow the bee all the way to the park. Right? I was so interested in this bee to understand how is the bee taking juice from the flowers, taking the flower juice back to the beehive spitting inside the spit then inside of the spit of the bee mix it with some other spit then the spit turn into honey then the honey turn to something that we eat i was just trying to figure this shit out right so before you know it right i snapped out of it i had to snap out of it i was like holy shit so then my mind astro projected my mind rewinded the whole scenario then i astro projected and i was looking at myself from the, across the street and then I looked at the story playback and I was like, oh, my God, the regular people in the world is looking at a nigga cockeyed walking through the middle of the street. They can't see the bee from this far. They just see a nigga doing this. Oh. Oh. I said, oh shit, I'm crazy. Oh shit, I'm crazy. Oh. Right? And then, not only did I start realizing that I look crazy, my mind started doing the conscious thing of telling itself, you crazy, you crazy. I know you crazy, you crazy, you chasing bees. You like chasing bees. You like bees, huh? Do it again. You love bees. Bees are healthy. They help nature. Go, go be a bee. Be with them. Be one of them. Be all you can be. Remember they told you in school? Be all you can be. You spent most of your life trying to get a buzz, didn't you? You are a bee. You're a bee. Be a bee. Be a buzz. Buzz. Remember they told you buzz light year? Daylight. Buzz light. Daylight. Buzz light year. Buzz light year. Be. You are a bee. You are the queen. Right? So before you know it, right? I start like I pulled my pants down and I looked in the mirror and I was looking at my booty hole, right? And I was like, do I got a stinker in there? Right, I, I hiked my ass all the way up on let me show you how I did it so y'all can know how I did it. So y'all can see that it ain't no game. So I got on the kitchen sink, right? I mean the bathroom sink. And I was trying to tell myself, do I got a stinger? Right? So then this when I became even more crazy. I went back outside and the bee was there again. And I was like, Bzz. then the bee said it back. Said, the bee replied. I reply back to the bee. Then the bee was like, and then flew away. I was like, he wants me to come with him. So before you know it, I was having a full conversation with a bee. So I walked to the thing, and the bee was like, 
coast clear? I was like, yeah, it's clear. He was like, all right, look. You ever watched the movie B movie? I was like, yeah. He was like, look, that was me, dog. I was the first nigga that left the beehive, my nigga. You feel me? All these niggas wanted to be programmed. All these niggas wanted to do regular B shit, nigga. I was like, nigga, I'm out of here, dog. I left the hive, my nigga. And I'm just coming to tell you you could be different. So before you know it, I'm sitting in front of the liquor store, 7-Eleven. And I'm just talking to a B. Right? We on the side of the store, though, like in the crevice. So imagine how this looked from the outside in. A nigga on the side of the store, bent over in the bush, talking. Right? That's how I looked. He said, look, man. You're the chosen one. You're the chosen one. You're chosen. I seen you. I've been watching you for a long time. Remember you smashed the homie? Remember we was in the living room? You smashed the homie? I was like, oh, shit. That was when I first moved. He's like, yeah, nigga, seven years ago. Nigga, we flew through the window. I was trying to talk to you. But, nigga, you just started swinging. Nigga, smashed the homie. You feel me? I was like, oh, shit, damn. It's like, yeah, nigga, that was my little cousin. Nigga, we was going to ride out on your house. But, you feel me? Like, I knew you was different. So, you feel me? I just, I just let you live. But, for real, though, look. I'm about to go because I got to get back to the, uh, you feel me? I got to get back to the flower parlor. You feel you know the flower parlors over there off Jamboree? Yeah, nigga, me and the homies got a date. Nigga, I got to get back to the flower parlor. But just remember, it's up to you to save the world. Right? So this is the fucked up part about it. Let me tell you how your consciousness going to destroy you, right? You come home, you pumped up, you pumped up, you, oh my God, nigga, they gave me the strength to be strong. Nigga, that B told me, nigga, it's my job to save the world, right? So you come in the house, you like, baby, she like, oh, what's up, honey? You like, it's on me. She like, what you, what you talking about? It's on me. It's up to me to save the earth. Honey, you, you okay? It's up to me. Today, I met a B. At 7-Eleven, I talked to the bee. The bee told me that I got to save the world. Yo, wife, like this. Hey, go in, the, go in the room, son. Go in the room. It's getting personal. Just, just go play your iPad in the room. Uh, honey? Are you okay? Listen to me. The earth is in danger. It's in danger, honey. The bees told me. The bees told me that the earth is in danger, honey. Your girl looking at you like this. Right? So first thing she do, she call the police. Because you know all conscious niggas talk to non-black girls. You know, only way to become conscious, you have to have a non-black woman. It's just the way it goes. I'm sorry.